Hello? Two things on this video. Number one, I'm letting the Mercedes idle. You can hear it in the background. Um, troubleshooting uh, an issue of metal sound when the car started from dead cold and letting it idle, not moving it anywhere. Um, so you can hear that sound in a different video. Um, have a short list of what items that would be that's causing that and uh, checking one by one off, uh, you know, troubleshooting. Um, the guys at AMS are pretty helpful with this as well. Number two, um, I'll show you some wide open throttle logs. We'll analyze them. Uh, what we're looking at is to, in part to troubleshoot this sound. It's not making it right now. And um, the other is I've seen comments on forums and on my comments regarding the electronic diverter valve that is stock that comes on this car. And can it hold the boost? So that'll be part of the analysis in the logs. Regardless of what happens, I did go uh, ahead and get uh, the dual port compact electronic blow off valve from Turbo, Turbo Smart. That'll be a separate video of the installation process. And we'll see what the difference is. Um, we'll analyze what this is doing right now and we'll do a rerun and uh, see if we see any change. So here's the logs. We'll focus on the two items. We'll start with the troubleshooting item that's squealing at idle. Um, the idea is to rule out the fuel rail constriction or issues with the bypass valve on the fuel rail. Uh, I've ruled out that it's not the fuel pump so uh, I th the, the guys of AMS have been very helpful. Uh, we're both thinking it is that. However, uh, the indicator of a f restriction on the fuel rail, remember at idle only is when this happens, is to do a wide open throttle run. And um, it, it kind of exaggerates and shows the issue of that constriction by a varying uh, fuel rail pressure. So you can see there's a run I have here the fuel rail pressure is over here in the lower left. And um, I'm going to take this long uh, third gear run. And we'll watch the fuel rail pressure as we go across that run. And it doesn't really change that much. It sticks at 130, 140, 170 PSI. So... What's interesting is after a whole bunch of wide open throttle runs, I am no longer able to replicate this, this squeaking issue. So I think this is something I'm just have to um, <laughs> wait and see, I guess. Um, the calibrators at AMS have indicated that they're able to adjust the pressure uh, m a little more during idle and in case that happens, but um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. While I have the logs here, uh, uh, the second item I want to focus on is the, the comments that the stock electric diverter valve or the recycling bl blow-off valve, uh, the OEM, um, how much boost can that hold up? Now, um, boost here is on the 117 uh, 0.7 at this instance and so again we'll look at this uh, increase in RPM in this gear uh, wide open throttle and you'll notice uh, it does vary a little bit one 122 to 128 or sorry 322 to 328 319 uh, 320 321 this is negligible far as I when I look at this I don't think there's any issue whatsoever um, that it can hold that type of pressure um, type I mean the amount so um, this is obviously a 46.6 psi um, barometric pressure is 13.1 so you you subtract to take that difference um, yeah so around 34 uh, 34 and a half pounds of boost um, I'm going to swap anyways and do another wide open throttle run when I install the new uh, dual blow off valve and we'll see if that curve flattens out anymore. But when I look at this, I don't think there's, there's any issue whatsoever. While we're in here, uh, the third item, just uh, a point of interest uh, looking at that 
is the uh, intake air temp. I cannot get over how little of an increase there is versus ambient air temp. So we're sitting at 36 Fahrenheit right now um, during this run, and um, we barely jump past 64 Fahrenheit uh, after we, we've done through that rip. Um, I think I would have to do repetitive pulls to really heat soak it and, and, and get it. Um, <laughs> pretty impressive. I, I guess that's how I'm able to get away with running a 94 uh, pump fuel. Uh, at these uh, pressure levels. Okay, so just thought I'd show everyone what this looks like uh, from a scanning perspective. And stay tuned, uh, I hope to get this strapped on the dyno soon enough.